Welcome to Hanover, Pennsylvania, home of the Emico factory and the iconic 1006 Navy chair, made right here since 1944, and here to greet us at the entrance. In the Emico Museum, visitors can trace our history over 76 years of handmade chairs. We have original vintage pieces, as well as prototypes and special editions that tell the stories of each design collaboration and new material development. Out on the factory floor, everything starts in Department 1, where raw materials, namely recycled aluminum sheet and tubing, are cut, bent, pressed, and formed while they are still soft and malleable. Workers operate a hydraulic metal shear, which takes large sheets of aluminum from the mill and cuts them into more manageable pieces for future press operations. Each piece of aluminum sheet will get formed in one of these steel press tools that are custom made to produce the unique shapes of the legs, seats, and backrests of our chairs. Here is one of these tools in action. Walter takes pieces of aluminum that have been pre-cut into shape for our 1006 Navy chair and forms them in a hydraulic press to create the signature seat shape. Once cut to length, square aluminum tubing is bent on our CNC machine to create the back frames, arms, and legs of many chairs. Here the operator is making an arm. Some parts head to our routing area to get slots and holes that are necessary for assembly later on. Parts that have been cut, formed, or bent get a dip in the parts washer to remove any oil or debris before heading to Department 2 for welding. All Emico aluminum chairs are welded together. Every chair leg, every stool footrest, and every seat is held together by the welds of our skilled craftsmen. Joaquin has worked at Emico as a welder for 16 years and pays close attention to every detail as he prepares to weld arms onto a 1006 Navy chair. He uses a fixture to clamp the pieces in the correct position for a perfect fit, then uses small tack welds to hold everything together. Once the tacks are in place, he can remove the fixture and make long, full seam welds. Every chair requires many meters of welds, all of which need to be ground perfectly smooth. This makes the chair into one solid, seamless frame. Now that all the forming and shaping are complete, the chairs need to be hardened for durability and strength. We do this through heat treating. Adam carefully dunks the chairs in a 960 degree salt bath.
This entire hardening process makes the chairs torpedo-proof, which was the original requirement by the U.S. Navy in the 1940s. After the salt bath, the chairs are quenched in cool water before being baked in an age oven overnight. Next, chairs are finished using Sandiflex flap sanders and other handheld abrasion tools to create a durable brushed finish. After hand brushing, the chairs head to anodizing. Anodizing is a process that uses an electrical current to oxidize the surface of the aluminum. This uniform layer of aluminum oxide protects the chairs from corrosion and creates a nice matte finish. We also offer a hand polished finish on our aluminum chairs. Here, Polly is carefully polishing an order of Hudson stools. He applies an abrasive compound to the soft brushing wheel, then carefully polishes the frame. Each chair is polished three times, a process that takes about eight hours per chair, but produces a beautiful mirror finish. At the factory, we also assemble chairs from components that are made off-site, such as our Alfie collection. Here, solid ash wood frames crafted nearby in Lancaster, Pennsylvania, join up with 100% reclaimed wood-field polypropylene seats. We also offer upholstery for many chairs in a range of fabrics and leathers, or we can use the customer's own material. When the chairs are complete, they go to final inspection and cleaning, where we also add glides. We have different glide options for carpet, hard floors, and outdoor use depending on the chair's new home. Finally, we pack our chairs in boxes made from recycled cardboard and store them in the warehouse on site to wait for shipment. From here, the chairs are sent all over the world 